Um, uh, the president was supposed to be, and we have we showed his schedule last night. Shows him at the elementary school in Florida, and then it shows him getting back on the Air Force One and flying back to the Oval Office for a two o'clock meeting with Grover Norquist and Carl Rove, oh. and it's a ten minute meeting to brief the president on who he's about to meet at three o'clock. At three o'clock, he was to meet eight people. These eight people were all um, uh, the moderate Muslims, okay? Grover set this meeting up. They're, uh, six out of the eight are really nasty Muslim Brotherhood guys. Well, I, I didn't know any of that. Uh, yeah, he didn't know any uh, of that. My intern yeah. set up that meeting okay. completely. With okay, the okay, okay. Here's the other one. Uh-huh. Here's the other document. You ready for this document? Mm-hmm. This document never before seen, and I wish I would have had it for the interview with Grover Norquist. Grover Norquist uh, said, I was, my, I was the intern. Do we have the audio? When I asked him about, hey, you guys were chanting. You had people on a stage across from the White House chanting Hezbollah, 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 Hamas, Hamas, Hamas. Anybody support this Hamas here? Yeah. Anybody is a supporter of Hamas here? Yeah. Anybody is a supporter of Hamas here? Yeah. Hear that, Bill Clinton. We are all supporters of Hamas. Allahu Akbar. I wish they added that I'm also a supporter of Hezbollah. Anybody supports Hezbollah here? Yeah. Anybody supports Hezbollah here? This was an anti-Israel rally. And he came out and he said, no, 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 no. No, it wasn't. And we weren't involved. Here's what he said. However, he, uh, in 2000, late 2000, October or so, gave this speech um, at a rally and said uh, that he supported Hamas and he supported Hezbollah. Hold on just a second. Hezbollah. Hold on just at, a second. At, at a rally sponsored by you. Oh, I, okay. I know what the concern is. No. Um, there was an intern. This was written up in Insight at the time uh-huh. uh, oh. afterwards because somebody had said so. We had an intern who had said that was okay. He was. He had an intern who said that was okay. 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 <laughs> Stu, <laughs> He's got interns Stu, in the office. I want you to see. This is, these this is a press release. Tell me what it says at the top <laughs> or at the bottom. Tell me what it says at the ba- at the banner. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Islamic Institute. Okay. So tell me what it says. This is a fax. That's Grover Norquist's organization, by yeah, the way. Tell me what it says at the bottom of the fax. Uh, it Last says, uh, members of the NTFCJ. Is that the one you're looking at? No, 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 this one. This okay, one. down here. It says, uh, oh, it's an islamicinstitute.org. Okay, so this is coming from mm-hmm. the Islamic Institute. Mm-hmm. You can okay. see the headline. This is a press yeah. release, mm-hmm. a Friday morning briefing press release. Mm-hmm. And it says, march and rally in Washington against Israeli aggression. So this is not pro-Palestine. This is anti-Israel. October 23rd, 2000, there will be a march and a rally in front of the White House in Washington, D.C. to protest Israel's aggression against the Al-Aqsa Mosque and its escalating use of violence towards the Palestinian people. The march and rally are being organized by the National Task Force for Crisis in Jerusalem, a coalition of national American Muslim organizations of which... The Islamic Institute is a part. The march begins at 11 o'clock in the Freedom Plaza and will move to Lafayette Park in front of park in front of the White House for the rally that will begin at 12 p.m. So this is that very rally. This is the rally where the guy spoke. Yes, it is highly important that the Muslim uh, community in the U.S. Jeez. demonstrates a show of solidarity by attending this event. A strong presence will emphasize the call of American Muslims for peace and justice in Jerusalem and Palestine. Buses are being charted nationwide to bring supporters to Washington. For further information, call and contact the Islamic Institute Mm. via phone or email. The number follows. So the intern signed by intern. Yeah. So uh, the intern had to sign them up. (laughs) Write the press release. Charter buses. Uh-huh. Charter buses and answer all the phones. He's been good reprimanded. Intern. Good intern. Yeah, That's a good been... intern right there. That is, that if that doesn't prove the man was lying, I don't know what does. 
I mean, what, mm-hmm. what, the intern is sending out um, uh, press releases on the yes. behalf of the institute. That seems and come saying on, and logical. really come on an intern. Let's just say this is true. The intern. Can you imagine Josh is our PR guy? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine an intern oh going into Josh's office mm-hmm. and saying, "Hey, uh, by the way, Josh, I just signed us up for a rally, and, and it needs to be something that says something along the lines of it's highly important for the Muslim community." To uh, show us uh, solidarity, and we've got buses, and call our office for that. Do you think, Josh, if it was something that went against what we were standing for? In a million years, he would never do it without saying, hey, did you guys, did you you guys, guys know this, right? This? You guys, some intern hey, came by the way, he would, see, he would even go and do the extra work and say, because the other, uh, you know, uh, the American Muslim Council, all of the names of all the people that are uh, the other groups that are involved, he would come and he would do research and say, "Do you guys know who these guys are? Are you are you really in bed with these guys?" Oh my gosh, yeah, he would make sure. sure. Yeah, no that we there's knew no what we were way ourselves into. There's no way this happened with an intern. Nope, no way. On this, I mean, if there, because w- look, it could it happen. Let's just just throw this out here. It turns out he's he's out working. He's trying to be ambitious. He's trying to work hard, trying to get ahead in the organization. He sees a rally that he agrees with. Uh, maybe he's not quite in line with the uh, with the organization as a whole. He thinks he's doing the right thing. He signs you up as a banner sponsor, which is no cost. It's just another name of support on a big banner. Possible, Ser- seriously unlikely, but that's kind of how he presented it last time. Could it happen? Maybe, but it's like a one in a thousand shot. When you have a, a a printed piece of paper like this, an actual press release going out with the phone number, with with promises of chartered buses, with essentially a, a head organizer of an event like this, I don't think no. that that's possible. In I don't possible. think there's it's any route to that. It's not possible. possible. Outside of someone think Anthony Weiner style no. hacking the website, nope. Uh, and and, this, and posting and, Wiener pics. I don't see. And that remember, there's any... this is this is two months. And I'm sorry. This is. Uh, uh, 11 months before September 11th, 11 months. And on September 11th, he was at the White House with Karl Rove with really bad guys. Is that before September 11th? I thought it was this yeah. is October That's 2000. 2000, September 11th, 2001. Okay. So this is before September 11th. Wow. And he's, he says, oh, I knew about these guys after. Then why are you with six out of the eight guys that are bad guys, Muslim Brotherhood guys, 11 months later at the White House. With Bush. With Bush. Doesn't make any sense.